What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys Hitmonlee for Ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Hitmonlee, this Pokemon is as off-meta as off-meta gets. Nobody ever uses this Pokemon, which is why I'm super excited to be using it. This Hitmonlee has Unburdened with the Normal Gem and Fake Out, so we can lead this Pokemon, use Fake Out, get off a flinch, get off relatively decent damage because of the Normal Gem, and then on top of that, we will have no item, which makes Unburdened Trigger, making Hitmonlee faster than pretty much any Pokemon in this format. Hitmonlee is a pure fighting type, it has the Fire Terror type, then it's got Close Combat, Throat Chop, and Bullet Punch for its other three moves. Like I said, off meta Pokemon, but this team also features a lot of meta Pokemon. Actually, all five of the other Pokemon are meta Pokemon. Dragapult, Primarina, Arcanine, King Gambit, and Rillaboom. Dragapult's gonna be a great physical attack with a choice ban. Primarina, all around an amazing Pokemon with Haze, Moonblast, and Hyper Voice. Arcanine's got that Life Orb with Rockhead doing insane amount of damage. And then King Gambit, Rillaboom, doing King Gambit and Rillaboom things. Can't really go wrong with them. I mean, King Gambit's got Sword Stance. Awesome move, you can set it up. And then, you know, Rillaboom's got that Grass Glide with the Grass Terrain. Again, doing Rillaboom things. You guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Mental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one showcasing Hitmon Lee. First match coming at you guys, and it looks like we are going up against a rain squad. They got Basque Legion, they got Archer Ludon, they got Pelipper, and then Sneasler, Annihilate, and last but not least, they have what is that Pokemon? Sinisha. Nice little Healy Pokemon. Can heal up the squad. So honestly, like this rain squad going to be annoying, so we're gonna have to figure out ways around it. I kind of do like the real boom, especially with grass train, ripping wood hammers, ripping all that good stuff. But honestly, Archelodon's the main threat. Archelodon's the main threat. We're gonna need special attackers to deal with it. We really only have one. I mean, close combat him on lead could be nice. But if I can lead it and get off a fake out, I would like that the best. So you know, we're gonna go in with the Hitmon Lee. We are going to do elite dragapult and just look to get off some nice damage early on here that could be beautiful yeah we'll go dragapult we'll go hitmon lee we will bring we want arcanine with the life orb i mean close combat can do some damage close combat could definitely do some damage i'm just speaking on archer ludon again archer ludon's the main threat here like looking at the team it's like archer ludon is just oh man i definitely want primarina and let's go in with roll boom now we're gonna go with Arcanine. Again, we need a shot at doing big time damage. Maybe I should have went to King Gambit, but King Gambit doesn't really like do much to Archer Ludon. It's four times weak to body press, so it's like, mm, do I really want that? Not really. Even though Arcanine's already weak to body press, but at least it's not four times weak to body press. So we'll see who they want to lead here. Hopefully I can just fake out, drop a nice little Dragon Darts, pop everything. But Sneasel's gonna come out here alongside with Annihilate. Rage Fist looking a tad bit scary. Um. And I could just go into my terror type of ghost here, but that actually I would I wanted to be dragon. I could Phantom Force away just to dodge something. That's not bad. I could just fake out the Sneasler. So yeah, I'm gonna go for fake out onto the Sneasler. Um Could go Ghost Terror Terror Blast. I could go for Phantom Force. I am gonna go for Ghost Terror Terror Blast. Look to just steal some damage onto this Annihilate. That's not by him. Ghost Terror Terror Blast is just so good. It just gives Dragapult a way of a physical attacking ghost move, which it doesn't have access to besides like Phantom Force. And Phantom Force, let's be honest, takes two turns. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. So I'm going to Terrasalize into nice lovely ghost here. Now I'm going to fake out this Pokemon right here and use my normal gem. Let's go. So normal gem popping out here. Does like a kick motion. Does relatively decent damage. Terra Blast going to launch. We're hoping this is just KO and with the choice band stab Terra boost it. Hopefully, right? Yeah, awesome. This is a great turn. This is a great turn. So I got Unburden popped now. Sneezer's gonna flinch. It's great that him on Lee outsped. That, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Unless this Pokemon just didn't have Bake Out, which I kind of think it does because I believe he's actually faster. So now we're sitting here in this position with, with speedy Pokemon. And I'm thinking we just close combat this Arch Loot on down. Unless it's gonna Terrastalize. There is a chance it Terrastalizes. There's a chance to terrestrialize, but getting off this nice, lovely close combat could be huge for us. Hopefully, he doesn't terrestrialize. We're going for this. We're going for this, and actually, I'm stuck into Terra Blast, so I'm probably just gonna get rid of Sneasler here. I'm just gonna get rid of Sneasler. So he ends up with John Sneasler. Who are you gonna go into? 
What Pokemon's taking this Terra Blast? It's gonna be Pelipper. So Pelipper gonna come out here. Hopefully Archelion just stays its typing. I would really like that a lot. And chances are it doesn't. Sitting on the field with Hitmonlee. Yeah, and there's the Terra. Man, I hate this game. What you got? Electric Terra? Grass Terra? You can have a few different Terras. Fairy Terra, maybe? Please don't be Fairy. It's Grass. All right. So Grass comes out here. A little bit of Grass action. Archelion is just a problem, man. Close Combat's gonna launch to negative five. Actually, great damage. I that, that, I can't ask for more there. I can't ask for more there. That's that's beautiful damage there. That's beautiful damage on a neutral shot. And Terra Blast gonna launch the Pelipper. So right now we can just keep slapping up this left side. He's probably gonna go for an Electro Shot and take out whatever Pokemon he wants. And let's see. Who are you choosing here? Who are you taking out? I actually think Hitmonlee can soak this. I don't think Dragapult can. Which is a slight problem. What are you going after? I think that's Dragapult. Dragapult soaks. Alright, shout out my boy Dragapult. Shout out my boy Dragapult. Um, I'm thinking of just doubling down into this slot now. Because we still have Rollaboom late game. No, why do I think we brought brought Rollaboom? I mean, we have you, but you, you died at the Dire Claw. You died at the Close Combat. I think we kind of have to take out this Pelipper. We have to take out this Pelipper. I don't want to set up Tailwind just pretty much losing this game. So I'm going to go Terra Blast into this slot. I'm going to keep a close combat into this Arch Ludon slot. It should do a decent amount of damage again, which is great news. My defense just dropped, but I wonder if they keep my Dragapult on the field or if they take out my Hitmonlee, which either way, I want one of these Pokemon. Really good for us. So Terra Blast is going to finish off this uh, Pelipper. I couldn't let it stay on the field and set up a Tailwind. That could have got ugly real quick, but one more close combat should KO this uh, Arch Ludon. We're not boosting it too much. Another Electro Shot's going to fly here. And who's he picking here? Is Hitmonlee gone or Dragapult? I'm really cool with either. I'm really fine with either. And it's going to be Dragapult. So he finished off the Pult. No big deal. Another close combat, like I said, should be able to KO this Arch Ludon. Who probably doesn't have Protect. It's either Vested or Choice, but chance are it's Vested. And I could just go into Primarina if I want to. Or I could just go into Arcanine. I mean, Primarina not looking good here. Not at all. I should get off a of Haze. But the problem is you die out to a Dire Claw. Like, it, you just stand no chance. You stand no chance. So I'm going to go into Arcanine here. Um, do I go into Flare Blitz? That's the real question. Do we think Flare Blitz in the rain can KO this Arch Luna? Because I, I want to double down this Arch Luna just in case this Sneeze Lance fake out. That's really the position I'm at. I am really just want to do this, and I could just choice into Head Smash. You know, Head Smash should be able to do enough damage. Let's do it. Let's just double down to Arch Ludon. Because, again, I don't believe it has Protect. There's a chance Sneezer can fake out. It doesn't. Close Combat should KO. It does. Cool. So, so Hitmonlee going nuclear in match number one. Faking out, doing big-time damage, outspeeding with Unburden. Really like that. And pairing up next to Dragapult works so perfectly. So, Arch Ludon, see you later. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Close Combat's going to fight. He's going to end up finishing off my Arcanine. And yeah, this one's kind of scary still. But at least you have no double hitting moves so I can Close Combat you. I can bring out my Primarina. If you don't take out my Primarina, Primarina with Dire Claw, then I'm just going to KO you with a nice little Hyper Voice in the rain. And yeah, we're, we're, we're sitting real good here. We're sitting real good here. Actually, are we? Close Combat. You should be able to do respectable damage here. Should be able to do respectable damage. I could protect you and play it safe, but. Actually, let's do it. Yeah, let's just protect you. We know you're going for Dire Claw. We actually lose this game if we. We actually lose this game if uh, this protects wrong. We actually lose this game if this protects wrong. I shouldn't have went for protect, but Hitmon Lee's got my back, man. With the critical hit. He's got my back all day. He's got my back. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. But I think they were going to Dire Claw or Pre Marina. We probably shouldn't have protected, but still, we take that game. We're sitting 1 0. What a hot start for your boy and Hitmonlee. Want to know to get this video started? Hopping into our second match, going up against Incineroar. Incineroar over here. I haven't actually seen this Pokemon that much in Regulation H yet. I've seen it a lot, but not as much as I've seen it in the last format in Regulation G. So, pretty dope. Pretty dope. They also have Alone Ninetales, who they can set up screens with pretty easily. They got Ursaluna, Dragonite, Clefairy, and Chandelier. Chandelure. Chandelure Pokemon, Chandel Chandelure, the Chandelier Pokemon, <laughs> but um, 
Who should we go here? Because I could see them leading a little nine tails, no problem. So maybe we just want to go to like our fake out user again. Unburden pop. And kind of go from there because you should outspeed Incineroar, which is really good. But at the same time, Intimidate, we don't like that. We we really don't like that. You have clear body here, Mr. Guy. You should. You do. You're 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 the lead. Dragon Pole is amazing in this format. It really is. So I'm gonna go Dragon Pole here for early lead. Um I could go pre. I could go pre here. Um Yeah, I like pre-marina here. But I'm gonna go pre-marina. I am gonna end up going Dragapult. Uh, we'll, we will bring our unburden him on lead for late game. And last but not least, we could go King Gambo. We're going Arcanine. <laughs> I was sitting there, I was like, we, can get, we could go King Gambo, but Arcanine's looking real nice. Arcanine's got like a wide variety of moves. You got E speed, you got close combat, you got fire Blitz, you got head smash, plus you got the life orb. Two of them are stabbed. A lot of damage output to come from Arcanine. It's got a uh, head smash too. We're well, not head smash, uh, whatever is rock head as his ability. Now how comes these two as a lead? Wow, I could have led my hit my lead, which I would have loved. But instead, we're gonna go into this slot. Um, start play here. I could U-turn pivot. I could just rip a dragon darts and just take out chandelier. That might be my play. Get rid of the chandelier before anything happens, and then kind of deal with the nine tails. Because we already know it's gonna get off of War Veil. There's really no way it doesn't get off of War Veil. Unless I can double down, do enough damage, which I would have to terrestrialize. But then I would have to outspeed. So yeah, there's really no point. We might as well just go with the dragon darts here. Look to kill the chandelier. And, um, probably just rip a moon blast in that slide. I mean, hyper voice could help us out, but I think dragon darts is gonna, you know, we're just going hyper voice just in case there's a swap, just in case there's a swap. So, chandelier could be twist scarfed as well. I totally did not think of that. I didn't think of that. Some chandelers are choice, but he's gonna end up terrestrializing. and this has got to be the chandel. It is gonna be chandel. What type in you rocking? Grass, I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. We got Dragon Darts flying. Hoping we can do enough damage with that. Let's see. Not enough damage. Not enough damage. Can Liquid Voice, Hyper Voice get after it? We knew the Roar Bell was coming out here. We knew that all day. I doubt you outspeed Primarina, which is kind of rough. Oh, you do. Beautiful. That is, that, that's not rough. I take it back. I take it back. And we pick up the KO on the Chandelier. Taking out their Terra as well. Beautiful. All right. All right, Pre. All right, Pre Marina. Well, Chandelier may be going for a Trick Room. I think that's a possibility. But now they got off a Roar Bell. We're choosing the Dragon Darts, which is low key actually kind of good with a Fairy type sitting on the field because both Dragon Darts just go to this left slot. Oh, two Fairy types. Really? Really? Never mind. I take back my statement. I retract it. I retracted two fairy types on the field. You're getting swapped here, buddy. You're getting swapped. Um. Oh man, I didn't play this one. Hopefully he's going for an ice move. I'm just gonna swap. Dragapult. I guess I'll just keep moon blasting this nine tails down. Clefairy is just more of a support thing than anything. So we'll save for Dragapult. If I had to guess, they have to have Ursula in the back end because I think they were going for tricking with Chandelure. So I bring out Hitmonlee in hopes that they don't go for a fairy move in this slot. And there it is, there's Blizzard. Hitmonlee soaks it. Clefairy, what do you what you, what you got cooking? What's Clefairy got cooking? Give me a special attack drop here. Give it to me. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And you got Moon Blast! Oh yeah, sorry Hitmonlee. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Be good at match number one, but you're just pretty much just a sacrifice. Alright, so from here I could go Dragapult. I still have Terra. Still have a lovely little Terra. Um, could save you, Arcanine, with Head Smash. I mean, you can do great damage here, especially no Terra. Fire Blitz. I mean, should KO. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna save our Dragapult. Choice Band Dragapult just too good. It really is. So I think from here we're just gonna go Fire Blitz and just look to rip up you. And if I can, we're just going to go into Moon Blast. Look for a special attack drop into this slot. There's a chance that they do swap Ninetales with that special attack drop. But I'm kind of hoping it stays on the field a little longer. They don't have Terra. I'd like to do some nice damage there. Like I said, I'm predicting Ursula Luna to be the final Pokemon. Especially with like Clefairy. Everything's kind of just like lining up to be like an Ursula Luna sweep game. But it seems like they want to go War Veil, Trick Room. Have someone die out. Bring out Ursula Luna in the Trick Room. Get Clefairy next to it. Follow me away. Just Hyper Voice as well. 
Well, let's see. You, I, you never know. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. Not gonna lie to you guys. But follow me. I'm gonna fly through here. So Flareblitz gonna tag along on that side now. How much damage are we doing with Flareblitz is real question. With the War Bell. Oh my crit. I love you. I love you. Beautiful crit. Just when we needed it. Thank you, Arcanine. I appreciate you. Moonblast is going to launch into pre. No special attack drop. I get one. They give one to me. That's fair game. That's fair game. And we get a crit. RNG going nuclear. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry, opponent. I apologize. I apologize for my good RNG. I feel like that's just like a good Pokemon etiquette to apologize for your good RNG. But they do not have... They do not have Terra left, which is really good. Now I can just go into Hyper Voice Close Combat. They're probably going to cancel. Yeah, I, I apologize. Two crits in a row. I have no control over that. Final match coming at you guys. Look to go 3-0. Perfect record with Hitmonlee. They got Incineroar. They got Garchomp. They're rocking out with Titar. Furthermore, they got Corviknight, Primarina, and Amoongus. I'm going to hope that they just don't need Annihilate here. I'm going to go right into my boy Hitmonlee. Try to get that fake out. Try to get Unburdened popping. Um, I could also lead King Gambit. Just in case they lead Incineroar. Then I can have like one good Pokemon, one bad Pokemon. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go into both of them. Um, I think a solid Pokemon for us could be Rillaboom here. Problem would be like Corviknight, but probably just wanna bring like Dragon Pull to kinda off balance that. But I mean you got high horsepower. You can do respectable damage all around. I'm gonna go into you. And actually, sorry, Rillaboom. Primarina's just shining. Primarina's just shining. We'll go Primarina and Dragon Pull. I definitely want Dragon Pull. Dragon Pull's just too good. It's too fast. It hits too hard. Choice ban. Come on. You gotta bring Dragon Pull. You have gotta bring Dragon Pull. In this format, I believe it's one of, if not, the fastest Pokemon in the format. I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, another Pokemon that would be faster. Honestly, I can't even do it. There probably is one, but I'm just gonna say it's it's one of. I'll, I'll say it's one of the fastest Pokemon in the format. Uh, Corvo Amoongus come out here. We're going with Hitmonlee. And you are so getting faked out of Moongus. I gotta get rid of this orb. I'm gonna do that. And I think it's just a sword stance here is probably the play. Unless you got body press Corvo. You probably want to iron defense first and foremost. I'm gonna fake out. I'm gonna go for swords dance. Nice little normal gem pop. And we're gonna get that unburdened flying as well. Fake out. Wabam. Are you Rocky Helmet? You're not. There's a nice little bulk up. So you wanna bulk up? That's cool with me. That's cool with me because. Because. Because Papa's got sword stance. Papa's got sword stance, so we'll go one for one on the uh the moves. And you got covert cloak. Are you kidding me? You got covert cloak? What do you mean? You got covert cloak? That ain't right. That ain't right at all. Not cool. Not cool. I, I would never do that. I would never do that. We'll go for close combat, see how much damage you can do in the core of night. We have dark terror, but I mean we're slumped. He's probably just body pressing me for or the KO. I really don't want to swap it. Come on, man. Come on, man. You got a cover cloak spore. That ain't right. That ain't right. You gotta, you gotta be better. That ain't cool. It's not cool at all. Close combat flies here does. Oh, that's ugly damage. That's ugly damage. Defense dropping. Body press flying. Oh, no. Oh, oh that's ugly. And you're gonna spore my Hitmon Lee? Don't tell me. Don't be that person. Oh, oh, this is what we go through. Th this is what I got to deal with. I'm recording here. I'm 2-0, and oh, and this is what I got to deal with the final match. Look at the bottom. Look at it. Double sleep skis. That ain't cool. That ain't cool, guys. Don't, 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 don't be like that. Don't be like that. Double sleep skis. Not cool at all. Not cool at all. I guess we'll go for throw chop. See how much damage that'll do. I'm kind of just... Hoping that we can wake up here. More so than anything. Go for Caltech leaving this slot. Probably goes for Rage Powder at the perfect time now. Can I wake up? A little bit of wake up action today? Which all Moongus. Now that both my Pokemon are asleep, you're gonna save that sleep buddy for later. And swap in Chomsky. Chomsky gonna come out of here. I would think you want to body press. Hopefully we can just like wake up. Him on Lee slumped. For his first turn. King Gambo. I buy him on Lee. I thought he kept King Gambo on the field. That's actually not bad. I have a chance to wake up next turn, maybe Sucker Punch. Look, can I just wake up here? King Gambo, do us a favor. King 
Cambo. You're better than that. You're so much better than that. Um, I got you. I also got you. Let's go into Prima Arena here. A little bit of Primo Arena action. And we get rid of all stat changes. But first, we go for a Sucker Punch in this slot. That's the play. That's the play. Hopefully, I wake up here. I can Sucker Punch the Guard Chomp, being plus two, and then just haze and get rid of all the stat changes. That's really what I want to do. Yeah, I really want to get out Prima Arena. He's going to end up Terrasla. Is that going to be Chomsky? He's not ready for the haze, though. It is going to be Chomsky. You know what typing? Steel. Why do you have Steel? I guess for this reason. So, Steel coming out here. Actually working perfectly up against the fairy typing. And King Gambit, of course. Of course. Just can't wake up. And he probably kills my Prima Arena. And it's GG. Thanks for playing. EQ is going to fly Brave Bird. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for playing, Jeans. Last hold up. Wait a minute. Oh. Went for bulk up. You went for bulk up. Sorry, King Gambit. I gotta get rid of your stat changes. I gotta get rid of them. They gotta go. They gotta go. They have got to go. They simply have got to go. I could go Ghost Terror or Poison Terror, but that wouldn't help us at all. But instead, I'm just gonna do this with Sucker Punch. I'm gonna go in the Hyper Voice. And he's gonna protect Chomp. Hold up. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance here. Protect on the Chomp. I'm waking up. Awesome. Three turns sleep. God, I love it. Sucker Punch gonna fire. And it's gonna fail. You're going for bulk up again. Is this, is this what we're doing today? Is this what we're doing? Hyper Voice. How much damage are we doing? Respect. Respect there. Everything's going wrong in this matchup. This is not good. No bueno. Tailwind. Tailwind is what, we, is what we're playing with now. Tailwind. Just what I, just what I want it. That's what I wanted. We go Dark Terra. Yeah, you know we're going we're we're going Dark Terra. Just give me a chance here. Just give me a chance. We're going Dark Terra Sucker Punch here. Dark Terra Sucker Punch coming in hot. Gotta do as much damage as we possibly can to this Garchomp. Because I feel as we're kinda sitting in a position where Garchomp would be the only only reason we can win. So if I can get Pokemon low enough where Dragon Dark can potentially KO. Really where I wanna be. How much damage are we doing Sucker Punch? It's good damage. That's great damage. Zombie Tangent flies. King Gambo soaks. That is huge. You're just going to roost up. That is massive. You're giving me a shot. I, I can't believe you're not just like dropping EQs and throwing uh throwing Brave Birds around. So he roosts up. He's got Tailwind. Um, probably should just double protect this turn and waste, waste that a little bit. Now he goes for a bulk up at this point. And the Moonga's gonna come in hot here. Oh, you little biscuit. This little booger. This little booger. So, like I said, we gotta waste out some Tailwind turns, so double protect. Easy to play. Plus, we can read out what they're doing. We're not getting swept here. We just took out the Guard Chomp. Corviknight's just being just a massive, annoying threat right now. So annoying. Problem is, like, I probably need a Sucker Punch into this Corviknight, but I think they're going for. Rage Powder rather than Spore just to protect the Corviknight from, you know, Sucker Punches. I guess we'll find out. Let's see, Rock and Spore here. And Rage Powder, good call of mine. So, we're gonna have to, like, count that, leave that. Brave Bird, he wants to take out the King Gambit, okay. So, he wants to take out the Gambo. We don't really do much. We're gonna have to go for Hyper Voice here and. They could hard swap. And I could save the King Gambit here. So how many turns left in Tailwind? Show me one. Is it one? It is. It is one. If you're gonna... I, th I think you go for Rage Battle. I really do. So I think we should just swap Polt. This Polt should be able to eat up a Brave Bird. Um, we can save our King Gambit for later. Sucker Punch should definitely come up clutch. Unless it's T-Tar. I mean, T-Tar is just a huge threat. And yeah, there's the Rage Powder. So we end up taking the hard swap. Brave Bird is going to launch here. You should soak this. Awesome. Takes a little bit of recoil. Hyper Voice launches. It's good. That's respect right there. Yeah, wind has gone. And I'm going to rip another Hyper Voice. 
Could go for darts. Don't want to go for Phantom Force instead. I'm choicing this move. I gotta remember this. It's the only problem. I think we just go for darts. I think we go for darts because Corviknight should die out here. Yeah, we're gonna go for darts. The darts gonna fly here, do respectable damage to Amoongus, do minimal damage to Corviknight, but Hyper Boy should be able to finish that off, which is really good news. And that's great. That's beautiful. So we're choosing to this now. He spawned somebody. Hopefully it's the Primarina, because I would love to just keep ripping darts. He's gonna go for Spore. It is gonna be Primarina, so he leaves my Dragon Puddle on the field. Good thing for us wasting out those turns. Hold up, we're actually sitting relatively decent. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. So we still have King Gambit. It's gonna be... It's gonna be Pre, which actually isn't... Isn't the worst. If you think about it, my Dragon Darts now double down into Moogus, which probably KO. You're gonna protect the Moogus, aren't you? You don't, that's huge. Dragon Darts gonna now KO Moongus, and we still have King Gambit. Okay, hold up, hold up. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. This Primarina has a shot at just winning the game. Let's be honest here. This Primarina can easily win this game. My Pokemon are so low HP. And I eat up the Hyper Voice, and now's a good turn for me to probably swap. I'd rather have Dragapult than King Gambit. Let's be honest. I'd so rather have Dragapult. You got Throat Spray, you son of a biscuit. I'd so rather have Dragapult. So if I can wake up and just throw a Moon Blast, that's my call. And we'll sacrifice the King Gambit just to reset our choice band. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. This match was not looking good for us. We really bounced back. Honestly, I think they made bad moves with like roosting instead of just like Brave Bird me away. The Moon Blast is gonna launch here. They keep King Gambit on the field and Primarina survives. And Primarina survives. So Haze could be pretty good, just slower that special attack, but I think I'd rather get off a of Moon Blast than anything. The Moon Blast will go for a Sucker Punch, see how much damage this could potentially do. Especially with the Terra. We're just trying to chunk it down a little bit. Bring it in range for uh Okay, cool. Primarina woke up. We're, we're trying to just bring in a range of this uh, Phantom Force from our Pult. That's looking pretty good for us. That's looking pretty good for us. So, turns to a 1v1. Coming down to the wire. We are going to go in the Phantom Force. It is Stab. It, sh it should be neutral. Yeah, it is neutral. And we'll get after it. Actually, it might be not very effective. You're Fairy type. I always get these typings mixed up. No, it's neutral. I was right. Jeans is right. It's neutral. Dragapult comes out here. It's all about this choice band Phantom Force. That's, that's what it comes down to. We outspeed. They got no first turn priority. We just have to hit. We just, it's, we just have to KO. 4 to 3 oh perfect record. Can the Poltski pull it off? Can we pull off the amazing comeback? There's the Moonblast. Pult for the win. 4 to 3 oh perfect record. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Show it to me. Let's go. Let's go. What a video today. 3-0 perfect record. Killing it with this Hitmonlee team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hitmonlee going absolutely crazy today. Love this team so much. Hitmonlee was just a blast to use. Unburden, Normal Gen, Fake Out. Giving it that speed boost. Setting up other teammates. And then Dragapult. Obviously the MVP of today's video. Going crazy with Dragon Arts, Phantom Force. Even Terra Blast. We went Ghost Terror, Terra Blast. And I think it was match number one. And it worked so well. Dumping on Annihilate. Giving us a chance to win. Just a great Pokemon all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.